right. And if you'd like to start off, just tell us your name and your role in My name is Danny, and um, I'm the singer and um, synth player of Darksmith. My name is Leah, and I play bass and sing background vocals. I'm Nozomi, and I play drums in Darksmith. Uh, I'm Ash, and uh, I'm the guitarist and, I guess, second vocalist. No, 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 no. Just, just keep going. I'm just oh, getting cozy. Okay. Just, um, just go. Yeah. Just, what do you want? Uh, how did you get involved in that band? Ugh. Okay. This is a long story. You know, I, I was trying to find band members, and I found, you know, this person Ash um, online, and I just saw like the movie Nowhere that weekend, and I'm like, the main character Dark Smith in that movie is named Dark, and I'm like, well, I'm kind of dark. Danny found me, and it was kind of weird because he would like, he just kept like messaging me and he would like come to shows with my other band and I just started messaging him a lot and he wasn't really responding um, but then I started coming to the other band shows and then I just kind of just like kept doing that for a long time. It was kind of creepy really a little bit because I felt stalkerish and I was like maybe I should call the police or something you know because I don't you know. I don't know. He had a car, so I knew we had to be a band. Well, I was just standing in a parking lot across from Tim's Tavern. I was supposed to have a date with an Instagram model, but she canceled. And then these people just came running up to me begging me to play a show with them, and they seemed kind of desperate. I felt a little sorry for them. I mean, they were kind of like stray cats and... But I was like, no, like... Well, <laughs> one of them was just saying nothing but meow over and over again. What was that? What? We just met down back in the parking lot um, and thought, hey, let's try something different. Let's try something weird and different. and. Um, this is what that is. Danny thought it'd be a great idea to put out an ad and say, Instagram and social media savvy people wanted. So I thought it was gonna be an Instagram model foo-foo thing. Turns out he wants to play music or whatever. So I have to learn drums. Like what the fuck? I'm a counterfeit. I'm um, Can you tell us a little bit about making the album Digressive? Oh yeah. So yeah, the Digressive was really it was really exciting when we started because it's it felt like this whole new direction, this whole new sound, and it felt like the beginning of something really special. I just wish I knew how wrong I was. We're not, we're going to Portland. Uh, does anyone have any things they want to say about what we're about to Dicks! <laughs> so many dicks! I'm going to see so much dick. Gosh, I'm excited. There we go. I'm, I'm wearing underwear today. That was just a nightmare. The whole thing was just an awful nightmare. 
It was horrible. The band just bitched and bitched and bitched. Nazimi was just obsessed with dick, and I was like... Like stripper dick? And she just kept being like, dick, 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 I want to see dick. And the only thing I asked in return was that we go to some strip clubs like Silverado and Stag and maybe Devil's Point or something. <laughs> You're never gonna let me live that down, are you? We didn't go to any of them. I did not see one dick or titties at all my whole time there. It was horrible. I'm like, Nazmi, we're here to record an album, you know, not to go to a strip club. We're trying to do something here. We're trying to make history or some shit like that. I don't know. And then she threatened to leave, and I thought to myself, crack number one. write more relevant songs and less about like cum and stuff. I think that's kind of weird. Every time I turned around, there was some new fucking distorted effect added to my bass tone. And I was just like, what the fuck? I think we were wasting our time. The, the cracks were really starting to show. And then Ash shows up with the song, um, the Seamstress, where he's like, he had all the lead vocals. And I'm like, oh, well, what am I even doing here? I was really starting to question my place in the band. Well, I really thought Degressive was actually like a really good album. Because I wrote most of it, really. I mean, Danny's always like, you know, the one that everybody loves. And he's just kind of like hitching on to my star, really. Really, you know. I should have been the lead singer the whole time because, you know, I mean, Someone give me one usable line, please. One usable. All I have is Kotatsu going like this. 
Okay, I'm ready. Okay, ready? Okay, I'm What was your favorite song that you think you recorded today? Seamstress. Oh, Seamstress was fun. Maybe you're right. Maybe I'm not. Maybe you're right. <laughs> Ash, good night. Say good night. Good night. Say good night. Is that drugs? Um, do you have a favorite song you guys recorded? No. It felt like this like ultimate diss track to like the state of the world 10 years ago and really became a diss track to ourselves. Up. Yeah, once we finished the album when we were playing shows, you know, and waiting for the album to come back, I think that's when we really started to realize that we all hated each other. <laughs> Honestly, I had never thought the album was going to come out, like, for real, like, Danny just couldn't get his shit together. He was always, like, more concerned with, like, drink tickets or, like, how much money we made tonight. <laughs> well, Danny changed his fucking hair way more often than we ever changed the set list. I was just done. Like, what the fuck? People change their hair sometimes. Like, nine hairstyles in one year is not a big deal. People do that all the time. I don't understand what the problem is. We're at the very end. The very, very end. Leah, what was your favorite song uh, to record today? <coughs> <laughs> I think everyone just hated each other towards the end because Danny didn't have his shit together, he was doing his solo thing, he abandoned us. That's what it boiled down to and Ash just kept meowing. It's like, what the fuck? Alright, I think this is on the last battery, this last thing. Does anyone want to say any last things before I kill this piece of shit thing for her? It's all home! You can get laid? Yeah. <laughs> and how do you feel about this com comeback 10 years later? <sighs> you know, agreeing to this was a really rough decision for me. I almost said no, but I decided to give it one more chance. 10 years later, I mean, I think that at the end of the day, I'm going to be honest, like it was the money. I think Danny's solo career didn't pan out, so he was just begging for us to come back together because Obviously, we were the best thing that ever happened to him before he abandoned us. We're doing fine now, I think. Just fucking play drums! Just fucking play drums! I decided to give it one more chance. As long as nobody tries to fucking distort my bass tone again. So, how do you feel about I just want to open for Birthday Massacre. I mean, they're my favorite band in the world, and if that could happen, then I would just quit the band after that, and then they could deal with whatever. But, and then ho hopefully, also, you know, uh, Danny could make enough money that he would finally be happy, and uh, Nazami could go live with dogs or something like that. <laughs> I want licensing royalties. Oh, okay. Money talks. And also, that's really it, actually.